I'm Nick. Welcome to Get Out and Wrench. Today, we're going to be continuing to work on the 91 Camaro. I'm going to be cutting the frame rail so I can install the new frame rail. I'm not going to be welding it in today because I still have to get welding gas. The red support I cut off a while ago. Uh, you should see that in another video, possibly a previous video. And basically, I'm just going to figure out where to cut this thing and I don't know, see what, see how everything lines up. So I guess let's get to cutting and figuring out how to cut it. Maybe a sawzall? I don't know. So as you can see, this frame rail is bent right here. And what I want to do is I need to cut it off because I have my replacement, but my replacement is cut way back past the steering box and I don't want to cut that out of the frame. So I'm going to try and cut it somewhere in this area, somewhere in this area, because I want to retain the factory toe point here. So I'll probably end up starting my cut here and going around this piece and like up through here somewhere. So I'm gonna cut the car first and then I will cut this to match. Because the car is gonna tell me where I need to cut because of what's been. Okay, I got my Chicago Electric Sawzall and 18 inch Milwaukee Sawzall blade and I'm just gonna I guess, I, I guess I'm just gonna have to go for it and see, see what we get. It's bent back here but maybe I can straighten that but I need to get this off because I can't straighten that. Don't try this at home. It's off, but now I got to figure out how to cut that one. I may have to cut this back a little more. But we'll see. I'm gonna see if I can straighten this crease here. If I can straighten that, I'll cut that to match to here, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, see, this was very, very bent. Worst case, I could just weld that back on and figure something else out.
This is a cheap dolly that I got from Harbor Freight. Don't use your expensive dollies for stuff like this because I'm using this, this hammer. I think what I'm going to end up doing is cutting it again back a little more, but I want to straighten this out some first. That's creased up there. This is still creased over here on that. So I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it here, I think. I'm not sure. I'm really unsure the best way to go about this, but it needs to be done. This car's gotta get back on the road. Ideally what I'm trying to do I guess is get this as straight as I can so I don't have to cut it back as far and then when I cut this new piece 
I'll cut it to match here. So this has got to go out a little more. If I can cut right behind this spot weld, straight up, that should be, that should be pretty straight. And that'll get rid of all this crumply metal here. Be careful of your hands too. I'm gonna go draw a line here so I can know what to follow. That should give me a pretty good guide-ish about where I want to cut. I might straighten this out a little bit up top here.
If any, the shorter blade. cut off. I will see what I can figure out with the other piece. So let's uh, move on to that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is a, a little crease here. Well, not crease, but like it cuts in and it says the same on there. So I'm going to measure from that piece to the end. I'll make a straight line across and I'll measure from that to here. And then on the bottom, I'll figure out the bottom. All right, so I got my new old frame horn, new to me, cut about where I need it. It was, came out a little bit rough on the bottom just because of the way it's shaped and where everything is but it looks like the top is definitely gonna work well. And then the side here, I may have to trim this up a little bit, like right there. Um, but it should go on fairly well. Actually, it should go on really well. And then the bottom, The bottom one I just made need to trim up a little bit, but this should go on pretty good. I'm gonna tap that in a little bit. magnets are going to hold. They're not going to hold at all. So that's fine. I wish 
save a better magnet. Okay, so I got this cut out. It's in place kind of where it needs to be. Um, I got to get welding gas for my welder and set up my welder. So I'll probably do that another day. And geez, it's going to start raining real soon. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's. I don't really know what I'm doing here, so I'm just trying to figure out, figure this out. I may have to trim this more and that. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I can get this car put back together real soon and get it out of my garage and start driving it because we got some other things that we need to get in here. I'm Nick. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And remember. Get out and wrench.